thank you, Mrs. Jones, for letting me examine you today. It's OK, dear. Thank you very much, Mrs. Jones. Shall we go to the doctor's office to discuss how that went? Um, I was thinking I could just send you my e-portfolio ticket over the internet. Why don't we do five minutes of feedback first, and then I'll fill in your ticket. OK. So you've just performed an abdominal examination. How do you think it went? What went well? Um, um, I tried to do it with a stricture, but actually I forgot to percuss for ascites. OK, but let's focus on the positive things first. What about your introduction? How did that go? OK, so I washed my hands, and I introduced myself, I asked permission, and I checked whether the patient was in any pain. Um, and she seemed quite happy to have me examine her. Yeah, so you have a good patient manner, which was good because it put the patient at ease. There were other good things as well. What else can you think of? Um, so I generally inspected. So I saw that she had IV fluids. There was a nil by mouth sign. Um, and she had an appendectomy scar. Yeah, so your inspection was very thorough. I could see that because you even moved around the bed to make sure that you caught everything. Now, inspection on ward patients is a very important part of the examination because you pick up a lot of things. Even in exams, it's often rushed, so well done on that. Anything else that you can think of that was good? Um... So I would add a couple of things. I think you took a systematic approach to your examination, so you covered all of the relevant parts. And it was well paced as well, so you completed it in the time that you would normally have to do an examination. So well done. Anything that you think you could improve on in the future? OK, so I forgot to check for ascites. My percussion note wasn't loud enough. And I couldn't feel the kidneys. All right, let's deal with the kidneys first then. So how would you normally feel for a kidney? So I put one hand behind the patient and one hand on the top of the abdomen and then I would push from the bottom hand up and feel the kidney against my top hand. Yeah, so you've got it right. If you do it with me, the point is that it's the top hand is static and the bottom hand is the one that's doing all the work and it's a feeling of blotting the kidney. Now, even I can't blot the kidneys on this patient because they're not enlarged, so don't worry about that. Uh, you talked about ascites, so how would you normally percuss for ascites? So I'd percuss across the abdomen from the midline to the flank and then I would ask the patient to roll towards me and percuss again and if there was a change from dull to resonant in my percussion note it would indicate ascites. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's an important thing to check for in your percussion section of the examination. Uh, what was the last thing? So my, my percussion note, I didn't think it was loud enough. Okay, can you think of any ways that you might get it louder? Not really. Okay, if you do it with me, what I find is that if you get your finger flat onto the abdomen, then you can often get your note a little bit louder. That's my top tip for percussion. Something you can practice in your own time. Um, anything else? Okay, well, I would add one or two things. Um, I would say that when you're palpating the abdomen, there are a couple of things you can do to to improve it. One is that it's nicer for the patient if you get down to the same level, and examiners might look for that in your exams. The other thing is always keep your eye on the patient's face to check if you're causing them any pain. And do you have any questions about that, or anything that you'd like to add? No. Okay, so why don't we summarise for what we'll put on your ticket. So, the, improve, the good things were, you introduced yourself properly, you did an excellent inspection and you covered all of the parts of the examination in a systematic way and you completed it in time. What are the things that we need to improve on? So I need to practice my percussion, remember to percuss for ascites, practice blotting the kidney and get down to the patient level when I palpate and look at the patient's face. So put those things in your ticket when you send them to me, and then I'll remember when I can fill it out in your feedback. And later on in your rotation, we'll get together again, and we'll do another abdominal examination so I can see how you've improved. Okay? Great. All right. Thanks very much. Thank you.